Hello YouTube, it's Disciple here for New Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys another video, but I actually have a special guest, and I'll go ahead and let him introduce himself. Hey, what's up guys? It's David from the channel David School. I had, uh, I'm the guy that made uh, New Disciple. My banner, yes, Yeah, yes. the banner. <laughs> I made the banner. And yeah. Okay, the, the video we're actually going to be commentating on is um, a co-op match where I joined, another, I joined my brother, actually. He actually sits in the room across from me, and I, I was testing out some of the... Um, the rumors are around co-op, and I was going to give you guys some tips in a second. Um, but first, I have a question for David. You you had said that you were going to catch up to me. Uh, how close are you so far? <laughs> um, let's okay. Let's think about it. I'm like level 21 right now. Um, <laughs> I've actually had a lot of help. I mean, I've never been um, what's it called? Uh, dead? I think it's hollow. I don't know. You haven't died? Oh, okay, okay. Dead or something. <laughs> I've always been human, and I've been having a lot of help. It took me three times to beat the. The um, devs one, the boss. The oh, um, gaping dragon. Gaping dragon, yeah, because my partners were retarded and always died on me. And yeah, <laughs> so I'm I'm at Blight Town with like a really low health bar, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. So yeah, I should catch up to you by today. So you got 50 more levels to go. At 50 <laughs> levels to go, it will happen. Trust me. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Also about the co-op. Um, what I've heard a lot is the ten percent, and so far from what I've tested, it seems to be true. Um, like I said, when I was lower levels, it was uh, it was like one or two levels that I was able to be within the other person before I could summon them. Um, like let's say around twenty, it'd be a two, obviously. That's ten percent, duh. Um, but at like at seventy, uh, when I'm at seventy six right now, so David's gonna have to be at least sixty nine, I think, before he can join me. So yeah, he has like. 50 more levels to go. He said he's gonna do them tonight. <laughs> yep. Oh, you go, um, yeah, my, my, but, but my primary. Yeah, let's talk about my primary. Level 435. <laughs> Cause you, you're a hacker. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'm a hacker. Yeah. That's sad. You shouldn't have done it on your primary account. You should have done it on your secondary. I am. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna catch up to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you're gonna do it on both? Um, no, I'm only gonna do it on the uh, uh, secondary, just to catch uh, up, and then that's it. I'm gonna actually like, do all the weapons legit, and uh, cool. yeah. What build are you gonna go for so far? Do you know yet? Um, actually no. Like I wanna get um, I wanna get tips on what like I should really do right now. <laughs> if you ask me, I would re I would definitely recommend a faith build. Um, it's not great for PvE, I, I won't say that, so if you want to clear the game quick, uh, Faith isn't the best, but for PvP, like when you want to invade or when someone invades you, Faith is really effective, especially since most of the miracles have a quick casting time and radial damage, which means it, it circles from around, out from around you. Yeah. So like even when I was invading, like a couple of my videos you've seen, two people, I was able to hit them both and not worry about getting backstabbed too much. Oh yeah, so I guess yeah, I'm gonna... Um... I'm gonna copy all your stats when I, when I reach your level. <laughs> you're gonna tell me all your stats. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to your stats and then we'll be like buddies from there. Yep. Let's <laughs> copy each other's stats from there. And we'll, we'll be all happy. We'll be happy. Okay. Um. And actually, another tip I gotta give the, the viewers real quick is that when you do fight Seath, um, I hadn't been able to do it in this video, but I was trying. Um, you can actually cut Seath's tail off. So that's a quick tip for when you get to him, David. You can cut his tail off and get something called the. Uh, large or the great sword of moonlight, I believe, and it, it's a weapon that scales with intelligence. Uh, I haven't been able to see it myself, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get it pretty soon here. It sounds like um, something from Demon Souls, like Moonlight part. Yeah, it was the large sword of moonlight back then. I think now it's a great sword of moonlight, but I, I don't know if the great sword of moonlight had it scaled with uh, the large sword of moonlight had scaled with faith, and this one now scales with intelligence, which is really disappointing to me because, like I said, I've got the faith build, and that would have been a lot better, but. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, like I said, I'm, I'm like I'm still working on on my channel. I really want to do Dark Souls, but I really don't know how to do it. Just like you, I have no idea how you do it. Like how you have the time to like record it and then render it all and like do the tutorials and parts and parts. I won't, I won't know how to stay organized. What I'm basically trying to say, but I really enjoy playing Dark Souls and hopefully we can do some more dual comms with you in the future. Uh, how are we doing on time so far? How much time do we have left? Uh, we have about like 17 seconds. <laughs> okay. Well, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the dual com. If you like it, go ahead and le leave some feedback, and you can expect more in the future. Anything from you, David, real quick? 
Um, hopefully my link's in the description and come yep. subscribe to me if you like Call of Duty. And yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>